Hi, I'm Sherry Taylor. I'm one of the directors of nursing with rnbridgeprogram.com. Today I'm here to talk to you about a subcutaneous injection. Now as you know there are many landmarks for the subcutaneous injection. So let me show you the mannequin and today we're going to talk about giving it around the umbilical area. Okay, other landmarks are on the legs. We're talking about our subcutaneous fat. So we're talking about anywhere on our body that has that added fat is a good landmark for the injection. But on this mannequin today, we're gonna to talk about the abdomen. Now you wanna make sure that you stay around the umbilicus but about two inches away from the actual umbilicus itself. So off to the side, always make sure that you find out from the patient where they had their previous injection. So let's talk about what supplies you're gonna need for this particular procedure. Again, this is a non-sterile procedure, so just clean gloves are gonna be sufficient. You need your medication. We'll assume that the syringe is already filled with the medication and you need your alcohol prep pad to rub the site. All right, so let's take our alcohol pad and let's get ready to put on gloves and then we'll go down to the patient. So again, these are just clean gloves. They're not sterile gloves. We've got our alcohol and let's go to our patient. Okay, here we are at the patient. We have our gloves that are clean. We have those on, we have our alcohol pad. Remember I said to make sure you find out which side the previous injection was given on. In this case, we're gonna give it on the patient's left side. You wanna make sure you're about two inches away from the umbilicus. Find your spot that you're gonna do. Put your alcohol right there Go in a circular motion three to five seconds to cleanse the area. You're going to pinch the skin. This time you want, instead of pulling it taut for an IM injection, you actually pinch the skin up to get that subcutaneous tissue in between your fingers. The bevel on the needle does not matter which way it's turned and there is no need to aspirate for this injection because there are no major arteries or veins in the subcutaneous tissue. So we give the injection either at a 90 degree angle or at a 45. If you're giving it at a 45 degree angle, make sure you go parallel to the way your fingers are placed. Not this way because you could stick yourself. So go parallel if you're gonna do 45. We're gonna do a 90 degree angle, throw it like a dart, in we go, inject your medicine, retract your needle, then let go of your pinch. Put your needle in the sharps container. Remove your gloves. And that is the way you give a subcutaneous injection. There is no need to hold pressure, to massage, or to place a Band-Aid over that injection site. So there you have it, how to give a subcutaneous injection into the abdominal region. Again, I'm Sherry Taylor, one of the directors of nursing with rnbridgeprogram.com. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching.